So I recently asked you guys to send in questions to ask me anything about the recipes I've been sharing with you guys. So here are your answers. <laughs> <laughs> So I recently asked you guys to send in questions to ask me anything about the recipes that I've been sharing with you guys, the canned foods I've been working with, and anything nutrition related. So here are your questions answered by me. So our first question is by at Subash Music. Shout out to my teammate over there. Why does I am brand not serve chicken? Chicken emoji, chicken emoji, fish, fish, fish emoji. Very good question because I am in Bahasa Malayu actually means chicken, but the company doesn't even sell chicken. But it's a very interesting story that I actually just learned about. So back when the company first started out, their packaging had the founder's name, Cloué, a French man, and the image of a rooster, which is a French emblem for products of good quality. But a lot of people on the streets couldn't really pronounce Cloué, so they referred to the brand as Chap Ayam, which means the chicken brand or the rooster brand in Bahasa Malayu. And then after World War II, the company decided, well, you know what, let's just change our name to Ayam brand. So in a way, it is a brand of the people. There you go. Next up, at Boon Hao Huang asks, do canned foods have preservatives? Well, my answer to that is yes and no, but always do read the ingredients list. Canned foods don't actually need preservatives because they undergo a very stringent sterilization process that kills all bacteria in the food. And also the canning process involves a vacuum being created in the can and it's sealed airtight so no bacteria can enter it anyway. So my advice when shopping for canned foods is actually to look for a nice, clean and smooth can that doesn't have any dents in it as that can compromise the vacuum quality. And here's a fun fact for you, the companies who actually use preservatives use it not because the sterilization process isn't optimal, they use it to preserve the color of the food. And that uh, applies to foods like canned vegetables or even canned luncheon meat for example. And that's why you see that the vegetables are super green, the luncheon meat is nice, pink and fresh. Um, so that's why they use preservatives. So there you go, always look at the ingredients list and and look out for dents. All right, at Dauntless asks, does microwaving food destroy its nutrients? Well, any form of cooking does result in a loss of nutrients. For example, if you're boiling food in water, water-soluble vitamins like Bs and Cs will leach into the water. But I would say if you're cooking, try not to do that in a microwave because your food would really dry up. But if you're using a microwave just to heat up food, it's completely fine. Next one is by at pretty please and she says I ate the chili 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 level 5 chili tuna yes the one with five chili symbols and it's too much for me but also so good well pretty I feel ya because I love it too but I was sweating my head off in that episode and honestly I can't decide whether or not I prefer the chili tuna punishment or the chinchalok one that we had so I'll let you decide on that one Okay, the next question is by at Gal Love Songs, and she says, How long can I keep canned food after it is opened if I don't use them all up at once? Well, I've got leftover sardines and tuna myself too, but you should not keep it in the can. You should always tip it out into an airtight container, store it in the fridge two to three days, and you're good to go. Okay, the next one. You guys are asking good questions. Shh. Shalebimon says, what's your favorite canned food to cook with? Oh, I like answering these kind of questions. Um, I love cooking with Iron Brand's mackerel fillets because I love mackerel, it's my favorite type of fish out there, but honestly, I don't have the time or patience to head out to the market to buy them and they don't always have it. So I was really happy when Iron Brand came out with it because I can put it in my salads, put it in my noodles, it's super versatile. But another canned food I like working with is canned beef. Uh, kidney beans, butter beans, or even your legumes like lentils and chickpeas because they're so easy to work with, they're so convenient. I just throw it into a stew and there you go, I've got a dish and I don't have to wait 24 hours to soak my dry beans. Okay, next one is by Bay Ricks. Hey Bay. And you ask, should I be worried about mercury levels in tuna? Very fair question, and I think this is something a lot of people worry about, but I would say it depends what kind of tuna you're eating. So I did some fact checking, and I learned that for Iron Brand tuna, they harvest a smaller species of fish, and when it comes to mercury levels, it accumulates in bigger fish. So smaller fish are completely fine, but if you tend to eat fish like swordfish, bluefin tuna, then they would have high levels of mercury, so definitely make sure that you have a balanced diet. So at Xmas Luxana, Simin asks, 
How to have a social life and still eat healthy? So hard to eat meal prep food and social gatherings, le. Ha ha ha. Uh, not very funny, Samin. And please don't bring your own meal prep food into social settings because you won't have friends. Um, I mean, if you're bringing your own packed food to work, that's completely fine. But if you've got events to attend as an influencer as you are, then it's completely fine. But just, um, I guess, make wise decisions about the food that's available and what you put on your plate. And wherever you can, try to cook at home. Cook the recipes on the Charlotte May, of course. I've got lots of easy recipes like your sambal sardines, which you can make ahead, your seafood cream, your fish and papilla, 15 minutes in the oven, tops. Um, so I really hope that you can find a balance, but don't beat yourself up if you can't follow like a certain diet that you have in your mind. As long as you feed your soul, feed your tummy, and you're happy. So there you go. Next up, Square Bells asks, is fresh fish always better than canned fish? Hmm. Well, good question. I would say if you can head out to the wet market to buy fresh fish, that's great. However, they may not have all the fish that you want available. For example, if you're looking for fatty fish like sardines or mackerel, for example. So canned fish is completely fine and I love how convenient it is. I can keep it at home. I don't have to worry about degutting the fish. I don't have to worry about how long I've had it in the fridge for. And I can just open it and eat it from the can if I really wanted to. And if you're talking about nutrition, they're just as good. And the next one, at Nissan Yang asks, who did I eat the bones in sardines? My answer is yes you can and yes you should because the bones in sardines are full of calcium and they're good for our bones too. I know they can look kind of creepy like a fish's spine, but it's super soft, super brittle. You can just mash it up. There isn't much flavor, so mix it up in your food and you're completely fine. And moms ask me if it's safe for their kids to eat it as well, and my answer is Yes. The next one is by at Schlup Dog. Schlupwee. That was really terrible. Uh, if I take fish oil supplements, I won't have to eat fish, right? Wrong. Okay, many people take fish oil supplements because it's an easier way to get their recommended daily intake of omega-3 fatty acids. But they're found in foods naturally as well, in oily fish like your mackerel, your sardines, salmon, tuna. So I would say that those are better because the omega-3 fatty acids in those natural food sources are more bioavailable than they are in those supplement gel capsules and this is huge there was a study done a couple years ago that found a lot of fish oil that were kept in these gel capsules actually went rancid but you can't tell because they're in gel capsules so if you want to go ahead to buy supplements i would say number one buy from a trusted retailer number two store them properly and to be extra safe i would actually say to squeeze the capsule slightly have a sniff if, if it smells rotten then schloop dog i would say to drop it like it's hot and reach out for some fish instead there are legitimate applications for eating fish oil supplements, but I would say go for natural sources. If you really think you're lacking in them, see your GP before buying some capsules. Hope that helps. We've come to the final question. This one from Instagram. Raj Kishan asks, is canned food good for our health? You really know your food really well, clap clap. Well, I should because I'm a nutritionist after all. But is canned food good for our health? Well, it can be, but as I always say, make sure you read the ingredients list to make sure that there are no nasties in there. And canned foods are good for us, but they don't provide all the nutrients that we need in our balanced diet. So things like fruits and vegetables, try to have them natural and fresh, guys. And here in Singapore, there's something that you can look out for it's called the healthier choice symbol it looks like this it's a red pyramid and it tells you that this product is healthier than other products in the same category and so this one here says that it is lower in sodium and lower in saturated fat and iron brand also has labels which tell you that it is reduced salt it's lighter than others so you want to be looking out for labels like this and guys, that's it for now. I really hope these answers have helped you, but you can always ask May questions anytime on my social media channels at the Charlotte May. And as always, may the food be with you.